Oh great, here comes the royal pain. Hi guard, how are you? It was better until you showed up. Guard, what are you doing? The same thing I do every day, princess. My job. Guard, how do you do this? I'm gonna get you to move. Am I a joke to you? I don't get paid nearly enough for this. I'm gonna try this. Tell me about it. I'm so bored. Guard, what am I supposed to do today? Same thing you do every day. Be a princess. You're good. You're really good. Hi guys. Welcome to the magical universe of awesome stories known as Stormers Mojo! I'm Jordan Q. Awesome, and this is my little sister, Nia Awesome! And this is our little baby sister, Kara Awesome! And we are your awesome storytellers that will pick a random topic and then go our separate ways to write interesting stories and draw cool animations to match. is the mystery box of random topics and today's topic is a day at the palace now it's time to write We have finished writing our stories, now it's time to read them. We need to choose who will go first. We will stand on one leg, and whoever stands the longest is the winner, and the loser has to go first. One, two, three, go! from her trip. The guard said, go back to the palace. And he said, princess, I'm going to give you a challenge. You have to spend a day at the palace. The princess said, oh well, okay. The guard said, that's great. 
He knew that the princess liked to travel and did not stay at the palace a lot. He just wanted to see if she could stay for even one day, but he did not know what could happen next. The princess walked in the palace. She walked in the royal hallway to the grand staircase. She went to her royal bedroom to sleep. She woke up the next morning and wanted to go in the royal swimming pool and she went swimming. She stayed a very long time because she remembered the challenge and could not go anywhere. She went to the royal garden to look at some pretty flowers and she stayed there for a long time too. Then she sat on the garden bench for another long time and ate a sandwich. The guard came and said, It is almost nightfall, so you better get ready for bed. But she said, The day is over and the challenge is done. The guard said, Good night, princess. The princess said, Good night anyway. She was angry because she wasted a good day for no reason. She put on her nightgown and went to sleep. The next day, they heard on the news that there was a terrible virus and no one should leave their home. And that it would last a very long time. It was on the TV, on the radio, and in the newspaper. The princess was very sad and she got so upset she said, I will never leave my bed. The guard was mad at himself for not letting her enjoy her last free day. The princess locked herself away for months being sad until one day she got up and took a walk and looked at the beautiful flowers. She decided to plant some flowers too. She enjoyed taking care of her little royal garden and she even spoke to the plants and the little animals. And she told herself that it would be better to be safe. The end. A day at the palace. I was super excited when the phone rang and the queen said, you are the grand prize winner of a day at the palace. I shouted, yes, yes, yes. I always wanted to spend a day at a royal palace, so it was my wish come true. When I drove over to the palace, I was greeted by two royal guards, and they escorted me to the palace entrance to see the queen, who greeted me very nice and friendly. The palace was six stories tall. When we reached to the grand staircase, it was all covered in gold and marble tiles. It was a long way to the top. When I looked around, the palace was filled with luxury. Everything was gold and diamond encrusted, and that was just the main entrance. I touched everything and almost everything fell over and broke cracked or chipped when i got further in the palace 10 butlers and 20 maids greeted me and showed me to my room on the top floor i would have to walk up many stairs to reach my room so i asked the butlers to give me a lift and the royal platform chair I always wanted to know what it felt like to be a prince and I decided to live out that dream that day. When we reached my room, I was hungry so I asked the maids to take food to my room. When I was finished eating, I went to bathe in the royal shower. I accidentally broke a mirror then I came out and put on my clothes. When I went downstairs to the Royal Badminton Court with my butlers, the court was super shiny and neat. 
It looked too real to even be real. The net was sturdy, the court was painted perfectly, and the rackets were shiny and golden. In the process of playing, I broke the racket and tore the net. When I was finished, I went to the royal garden. The gardeners dressed sleek on the lawn. The grass was soft, the hedges were lined up perfectly, and the trees were all groomed. I tried to pick a beautiful flower for the queen, but broke the entire plant instead. The next thing was the royal cinema with rows and rows of red soft comfy seats and a giant projector screen. The movie I watched was such a good movie but I managed to spill soda on some of the seats. The palace also had security cameras surrounding the entire place. Going further into the palace, there was a huge dance floor but I didn't have time to dance because it was getting dark. After I was finished with all my day's adventures, I went to shower and get ready for bed. When night came, I went to bed, but then I got hungry again, so I called the butlers to bring food to my room. I ate and went back to bed. I was so happy to stay at the palace, I began to jump in the bed and sadly the bed broke. When morning came, the queen came looking for me and she did not look pleased and told me that I owed her a hundred million dollars for that stay because of all the things that I dropped and damaged. I am not normally a clutch, but the stay at the palace overwhelmed me. I did what was best. I ran a mile just to get away from pain. I told myself that I would never, ever, ever go to a palace again unless I became a king or I got married to a queen. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed those stories and it's time to choose the winner. I'm the winner. No, I think I'm the winner. Let's see who the mystery box chooses. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da. The mystery box thinks we're both winners for effort. Rubik's cubes. Yes, I always Yay. wanted a Rubik's cube. Please tell us who you think is the real winner, Team Nia or Team JB. And remember to put purple hearts for me in the comment section. And remember, blue hearts for me. Not again. Hi, guard. I'm not going to trouble you today. That's the greatest news I heard all year. The link on how to make these cool props is in the description down below. This royal bear skin guard hat. And these lovely crowns. Guys, please remember to like this video, share with others, and subscribe to our channel. And please remember to click the notification bell for all our new uploads. Bye! Bye.